Hey, this is Wolfpack coming back at you today uh, with another short video. It's been a while since I've been able to post. I apologize for that. I've been in the middle of moving a house and trying to get it hooked up, water, electric, all that good stuff. I've had a few health problems along the way. I had a blood clot hit my kidney, which kind of killed it. Had a small heart attack on top of that. And of course, kind of lost my hunting land. The person that I was traveling to get to my hunting land passed away, unfortunately. And another person from another state moved in with some money and cut me off from being able to get to my hunting land. So hopefully this year I can find some hunting land and we can do some more hunting videos. But the reason why I'm coming with you today is uh, I wanted to talk to you about my Jumbo Caternix quail. I wanted to know if y'all would be interested. I've been raising them for about four years, but now I've had to relocate them to the new land that I got my house on, that I'm still working on. Uh, especially this time of day, money isn't that easy to come by. But I wanted to talk to you about my Jumbo. Want to know if that'd be something y'all want to see a little bit later? If it is, I would be more than happy to show you how I do and how I raise my Jumbo Caterna Quail. The breeding program I have, the cage system I use, the automatic watering system, how I feed them. You know, I do things real cheap on a budget. Just like the majority of people out there, you know, I do things cheap and on a budget. But for anybody wanting to, be a little bit more self-reliant, self-sustainable. Uh, I highly recommend Jumbo Caternix Quail. Uh, they go from an egg to laying an egg in just eight weeks. There's not a bird that I know of that can do that. So as far as reproduction and uh, reproducing itself quickly, number one right there. Uh, now my breeding program, I'm a little picky on especially this year because I'm trying to get a little bit fine-tuned a little bit uh, my full-grown jumbos that you see here are anywhere from 15.3 to 16.8 ounces that's my goal that's what I want to keep them at that way the customers I do have I can offer offer them a better quality of meat and eggs because jumbos caternix are like the biggest caternix quail you're going to get and there's so many people out there who raise Caternix, and I got nothing against that. It's just I'm not a big fan of like colors and things like that. I stick with meat and eggs. That's my goal. That's what I want to offer people. That's how I provide for my family. So, and as you can see from the mail, that's as loud as they get, y'all. That's it. A chicken, a rooster is way louder than that. <laughs> so, I mean, if you, you're someone that's got a garage, spare room in your house you're around a bunch of people you got a bunch of neighbors i highly recommend the jumbo caternix quail because people who raise them around other people they don't even notice them because as you can hear from the mail it sounds just like a bird you hear outside no one really complains, complains about that you put a rooster out there watch how fast they complain <laughs> and they gonna be complaining like within minutes <laughs> Because that rooster is way louder and he's going to continue to crow non-stop. He doesn't sound like a songbird. <laughs> but uh, I highly recommend them. I love them. I've been doing it for about four years now. Uh, Zach at My Shire Farms got me started. That's who I get my eggs from. If I want to add a new bloodline to what I have, I'll order some from him. But uh, for the most part, people are kind of shocked. You really don't have to worry about inbreeding or getting the same bloodline or anything like that for generations i'm talking like eight generations before you really got to worry about that a lot of people don't know that no that's from my experience if you disagree with that that's fine you do you <laughs> but uh if you're interested in seeing more videos on my automatic water system uh how i do my food containers anything like that how i build my cage like the cage system i have now is for outside now later on as my house is done then i'll focus more on making a little building redesigning the cage system to be indoors but for right now outside works perfect for them and you know automatic water system i mean this stuff is not that expensive y'all it really uh a five gallon bucket some hoses and some teas and some cups and you're set it's really not that expensive uh tougher well bow 
25 cents at a yard sale. Put two inch holes all the way around it, stick it in there. Now you got a, a no waste screw system. Cheap and easy. I can show you all how to do that if you're interested. Uh, I can give you a little bit more detail on how I incubate mine, how the breeding program I use, what it's like. I can show you all that. But I highly recommend them. I really do. Uh, on the eggs, they, it does take three to equal one chicken egg, but the health benefits for the quail far outweigh that chicken egg. Far outweigh them. And as far as using them for cooking, it's a simple, simple rule. Just remember, for every one chicken egg, you use three quail eggs. So if it calls for two chicken eggs, use six quail eggs. And I'm telling you, when you start using that in recipes, oh man, it tastes so much better. It really does. The egg quality of the quail, far better than that chicken. Right, that, that's my experience and the experience of my customers. They love, and I love, the egg from the quail a lot better than chicken. Now, I do have chickens. Don't have that many of them. But as far as my quail, I mean, this is just a little cage system. It's just two cages, and there's 15 in each one. That's a total of 30 quail in this one little area. I mean, it really doesn't take that much room to raise them. And like I said, they go from an egg to laying an egg in eight weeks. The incubation process is like a total of 18 days. Uh, day 14, take them out of the egg turner, put them back in the incubator, raise the humidity, you're done. Three days later, whatever's going to hatch is done. Yeah, I'll throw a little clip in there, me and my daughter. My youngest daughter, she loves them. She's been doing a great job this year of helping me with them learning how to incubate them, raise them, what food to feed them, all that stuff. So if you're interested, let me know. Leave, leave a comment. I'll show you more detail. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more about the water system, the food system, the incubation process, how I do it. Leave a comment. And uh, I'll do a little bit more detailed video on that subject. But until then, this is Wolfpack. Just want to let you know. Jumbo Quail, man. That's the way to go. I'll see y'all later. The new batch hatched out. All jumbo. 26 already.